Okay, here's another legacy game installation for Windows 8. Uh, we're going to go install Hitman 2. This is from 2002. Now I popped the CD in. You saw it pop up there the uh, notification. So I'm going to go ahead and say go ahead and run the installer. Now this program takes a while. Uh, whether or not it's because the old the program so compiled so old, whatever, it takes it a while to run. But it's uh, running off of the uh, uh, CD. And we're waiting it for it to come up. I'm going to cut out some of this time frame in here, but eventually it's going to come up and click and say, get into the WISE installer, it's called. It's an installation program that allowed developers to go ahead and r compile their installations. It doesn't affect the game, but it puts the files in the right order and all that and preparing them for install. So then what comes up here is the installer. And uh, it allows them to choose a directory. And that way I'm going to use a customs like I always do. I'm going to say OK to all that stuff. And then I'm going to go here and change where I want to put it. Rather than put it in the program 86 file, which is on my SSD, which I don't have that much, I'm going to grab this here and say copy that. Right click and say copy. Just in case it tries to put it in some other generic directory. So I'm going to sit there and say I want my games directory. But as you notice, it's already put Hitman 2 Silent Assassin up there. So I don't have to paste it back in. I'll just put it there. You may want to put the manufacturer in like they had uh, in case you have multiple games from the same manufacturer, but that's your prerogative. But now it's on my D drive. So I'm going to go ahead and install it here and click on Next. And uh, I don't care about a desktop shortcut. Don't need DirectX 811 because you already have Windows 8. You have 9 already. Should be okay, so we're, that's what we're going to find out. Now this takes a while to install, so I'm going to go ahead and let it run. Uh, but I'm cutting a lot of the time frame out. So I'm going to jump here. Oop, uh, we get all of a sudden we're 80% done. And here we go. I'm going to let it run the last few minutes. It's going to say OK. And boom. And I'm gonna, I don't care about the README file, so I'm going to unclick that and say go ahead and run uh, Silent Assassin 2 or Hitman Silent Assassin. Oh, it goes into this and lets you set up your stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and change the screen resolution before I even get in. So I'm going to say OK. That's good. Full screen. Use hardware. Let's go. So, uh, it's going to take a while to crank up here. Now, this requires your CDBs in your hard drive, your DVD drive, but uh, we're going to go into the game. Now, once the game launches, you can still go into the configuration of the game a little bit and change some of the settings in the menu there. So, we get into the system, and it takes a little bit for it to come up. I'm skipping past the uh, screens. I'm not sure if this one was escape or enter or whatever. Usually, you can pound on space bar, escape or something. To get past the cutscenes and everything, but we're going to take a look at this for a second. You can see it; it's running perfectly fine with this intro screen and everything. It looks really nice. So we're going to go over here to options, and we're going to change the. I don't care about the controls and all that, but I will tell you, I'm playing this game with a uh, Microsoft Xbox controller with a USB connection to the system. So, anyways, I put it to high. I weather left all the rest of the stuff. Checked all the other things. Yeah, I'm fine with all this. So I'm going to go ahead and use these settings mostly the default settings but don't forget you have a new higher processor so most of the times when you couldn't run this before maybe now you should definitely be able to use the higher levels and uh, we're going to get out of the, the menu for a second and just to show you how to pin it to the start screen uh, you simply go to your menu here and start type in uh, hitman and there it is right click say pin to start Come over here, you go find the icon installed. It's a little hard to see, it's red on red, but that's the Hitman emblem. Drag it over here to my, I have a legacy group over here. And now it's installed there, uh, ready to go for my, uh, for my system anytime I want to use it. So next we're going to go back and actually run the game again. So let's go take a look and see how the game runs. Uh, here we are in the very beginning, it has all the uh, startup stuff and everything. And all the controls work fine. All the all the the, the music, the dialogue, everything runs perfectly fine. So uh, there's there's some stuff here we want to listen to maybe a little bit, but I'm looking around. If you look around, this the clouds, the effects, and all that um, looks very nice. We're gonna go over walk over at the birds over here. And see what they're up to, and show you how the, there's no glitches in, in the, as far as the uh, animation goes. Uh, we look here. That's me being jerky, not the game. Uh, runs very smoothly. Moving around with the mouse, taking a look at things. Detail is great. 
absolutely no problems with the game whatsoever. Uh, I'm going to go on a little bit further here. Take a look at the scarecrow or this fighting uh, thing over here a little bit. I'm going to do some running here to show you what it looks like when we're in higher speeds. Uh, that looks great as well. Uh, I can't say enough about the game. I think there's some pigs coming up here later on as well, but uh, just want to see that the game. Uh, I played about 20 minutes of this uh, after I got it loaded up here and uh, didn't do one problem whatsoever. Oh, there's our pigs. And uh, no problems whatsoever in uh, the game. Uh, it runs great. So again, another, another vote for Windows 8.1 compatibility. There's absolutely no problem with running this game, even from 2002. Uh, one of our older games, uh, probably uh, it's like 12 years old now, and it still runs great. So uh, don't worry about it. Uh, if you have an old CD laying around of your Hitman 2, you can load it up and enjoy the game all over again 12 years later. You know there's those games out there that you love, and this was one of them. So uh, don't be afraid of loading up and, and making use of it within Windows 8. And don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. have uh, hundreds of videos out there, and we're adding more every day.